Every person that comes out of this school that has ever had any part of coastal studies, whether it be turtles, the oyster reef, the hatchery, you'll be able to tell your kid one day, hey, when I went to school, I got to take 30 minutes out of my day and go play with fish or help grow fish or help grow oysters. Hatchery is something that's always been very important to me ever since I was in middle school. I love being around the water, playing with fish, and this was an opportunity that I got to take. The Hatchery program is a program where the students get to learn about it, having a clean estuary system, and we really learn about the importance of having a healthy environment. So we have three different systems in the hatchery. We have one system where we have smaller fish, one where we have our bigger fish, and then we have a polyculture system, which is where we have the fish, and then that fish waste goes into the shrimp tank, and the shrimp tank goes into the polyculture system, which is where we have the Spartina grass growing. Since middle school, the seventh and eighth grade, the hatchery has been implemented into our science class, so it's always been a really good incentive for all the kids. The whole purpose for me of this is to teach them how important it is to keep your environment clean and sustainable. And by having the hatchery, it's in no way trying to teach children to be fish farmers. It's teaching them that if you have a balanced ecosystem, then you have happy organisms that live there. And if we want our students to be happy when they get older, they have to learn how to keep things in balance so that their environment can be sustainable. So by giving them hands-on activities, which makes them solve problems while they're working in the hatchery or out on the oyster reef, they're learning how to be problem solvers and work as a team. And I think if they learn those skills in middle school and high school, then hopefully as adults, they can apply those same skills when they're trying to resolve some of the problems that they're going to face environmentally. This is what Hatteras Island is. We are a commercial and sport fishing industry. And the importance of the hatchery is to kind of help go along with that. We take our fish that we might grow in here and give them to our foods class where they can learn to cook them. In the hatchery, we get to go outside. We build oyster reefs and we have a pier out back and that was always a good incentive for kids to want to go outside. That's where I become more involved. I'm a person that's going to throw on a mask and a snorkel and you get to see an actual oyster that's about the size of your palm with a little baby spat about the size of your fingernail sitting there growing. Another program that we do to reinforce the Coastal Studies theme uh, here at Cape Hatteras is the turtle necropsy program. Cold stun turtles are turtles who didn't make it to the Gulf Stream in time, so when the temperature drops, they freeze and they wash up on shore, and so we go out to the sound, we pick them up, and we rehabilitate the alive turtles, and the ones who did not make it, we freeze and we necropsy them in biology class. So we're, we're training the uh, younger kids. They're the ones that are doing the paperwork for us. And then my advanced uh, biology kids and the environmental kids are the ones that are actually doing the um, dissections. So it just kind of encompasses our whole coastal studies theme in you know, looking at endangered species, how are we impacting them. I think it's to teach kids about the importance of keeping our estuary clean a lot of kids, their parents are commercial fishermen or they fish in the summer and I think sometimes people don't realize how important that is. Every other school they get to go to school for a basic day of class. I know at some point in time in my day I'm going to come in here and I'm going to check on something that, that means a lot to me. <laughs>